Hello everybody, this is a video of our trip, Jackie, who is my wife and myself, and Matt and Dana Leneve's trip down to South Carolina, just west of Greenville, to the cliffs. Got 127 gallons of gas on board, going from Butler County Airport down to Pitkins County Airport in a Beechcraft Baron BE-58 1975 model. There's my beautiful wife in the back. She's uh, flying in first class conditions. We got her car inside the hangar and checking the time before we leave. Leaving her just before 9 o'clock in the morning in, at Butler and we're flying over Pittsburgh and there's my host Dr. Matthew Leneve, number one dentist in the area. Another picture of Pittsburgh. Here's a little video of us flying southbound, climbing out over the city of Pittsburgh. Matt's enjoying the view. I know I am. Jackie is trying to finish up some. Oh, there she is. Hello. There's your mom, Olivia, Rome, and Lindsay. Now we're out coming into the mountains of uh, West Virginia, Virginia, and North Carolina and then coming into South Carolina. And we actually had to climb up to 9,000 feet to get above the mountains down there, uh, going uh, into the cliffs just west of Greenville. You have to get up pretty high to uh, avoid the peaks, which believe it or not, are over 7,000 feet down there. Like Tennessee area, Tri-Cities, tri Tennessee and stuff. And this is why I joined the Flying Club and I now can uh, affordably take a twin-engine airplane on days when it's pretty, pretty intense weather and terrain, crossing mountains, water, etc. Just landed. We went uh, straight, rented a boat. We're on Lake Kiwi, uh, drinking some transfusions. Jackie has a white wine spritzer, and this is the Vineyards Golf Course. Absolutely gorgeous. I forget what hole that is, but it is a big hole. Yeah. Here is uh, number 17 on the vineyards. It's really nice. 244 yards it played the next day. Remember, we played it actually two days later because we played the Falls on Saturday. This is a Friday we got there. Played 36 holes at the Falls on Saturday, and then 18 holes Sunday at the Vineyards, and then lunch at the Falls Club House, and then immediately back home. Looks like everybody's having a good time. Fingers in the way. strong profile and then we went to the vineyards for lunch on the boat and then we met up with Lisa Jackson which was a great surprise and she joined us for a few hours on the boat having some cocktails laughing wishing Bobby was there and just absolutely gorgeous lake That was a big belly. Look how pretty this is. There's my wife. Here's the falls, the actual waterfall next to Matt and Dana's uh, house over in the falls section of the cliffs. It's not running very fast that day. This is a beautiful wooden Chris craft, which is absolutely gorgeous. Dana wants to get one of those for running around the lake, and Matt doesn't want to because it's a lot of upkeep and maintenance, and Matt would rather be on the golf course with me. There's Zach. He joined us for a little bit. See how beautiful it is out here. We went down and watched the sunset and then took the boat back. 
Got my party shirt on. And here we are the next day at the Kiwi Falls Golf Course. This is out of order. That's a rainstorm that hit us. Actually, that's not out of order. Matt looking for... Oh, look at this. How many violations, Matt? Can <laughs> Matt stuck behind a tree on hole 18. The I'm just waiting for him to do some sort of violation and kicking the ball out from behind the tree. But he doesn't. I'm very proud of him for playing by the rules. We are at the eclipse. I shot an 80 and an 81 that day because we played 36 holes. And then I shot it much better at the vineyards the next day. I think I shot 77 at the vineyards. It's guaranteed bogey. There's my 80 and my 81. We had lunch on the back patio, then we had dinner in some small town, which I don't remember. It had an Italian name, the restaurant. Uh, and that was with uh, Matt and Dana's, uh, Dana's mom and dad, Barb and Dale Licky. And thank you to Dale and Barb for picking up our tab. It was very expensive, I'm sure, and we were very grateful. Thank you so much. Now we're at uh, the best par three. I, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how difficult this par three is from the pro tees. 244 yards. The pin was in the front. Well, actually, middle-ish. And my swing does not look good because it really, I don't think it's that good of a swing, but occasionally it's effective. And this is one where I lined up, hit it right on to the front fringe with a draw. Maybe it's small cut. I can't remember exactly, but somehow 244-yard hole. Par. Very happy with that. Um, it's a rainy Sunday in Pittsburgh. I think it's 9 October 2021. And uh, <coughs> I'm vacuuming the pool to waste. So I'm waiting for the water to fill up to the brim so I can vacuum the waste. There's Matt. Okay. Let's see how he does for me. I can tell you right now. I have a premonition I think he's going to hit a high slice into the water. And you can see he tries hitting it with his hands and he gets his hands too far forward ahead of the, his body and that causes his face to be wide open at impact and it went high right. Watch this. Yeah, that's my analysis. His next one, he does a, a low hook, smather, smother, I call that. It's a good setup. I mean, obviously, he's way more athletic than I am. Take two. It must drive him nuts that I beat him that day. I wish I was as athletic as he was. I don't even look like a golfer. I look like a beer drinker. I am a beer drinker though, so that makes sense. Okay, next hole. Yeah, maybe not the next hole. Ah, same hole. We're still on 17. Look how beautiful this is. Matt dribbles it there in two. Actually, one in, two out, three there. He's there in four. Just two days prior, we were driving the boat around there. There's a good view from the tee box. This is and here's Matt on some other hole, looking for balls, I mean his ball, and he finds a fox skull, which was very interesting. Did I just hear the door open? I think meatballs here. Surprise, Rome! Rome's home, Mom. What's up, buddy? How are you? Doing good. Good. Fox, how are you? I 
fantastic. You just said lots. Wow, yes, it has. Amazing. Welcome nice. home. I am. I'm editing my cliff strip. You're, you're part of the video now because I'm audio recording a voiceover. <laughs> Say hello. Hey guys. Right, there you go. All right, this is Matt. I just birdied this hole. Matt's over the cliff, looking for balls again. His ball, and he picks up like five other ones. This will be done in a couple seconds. He looks very happy. The next hole is a par three. I think that's hole six. We had to play the back nine first, front nine second. We started on ten. Yeah, so that's not correct. We started on ten. Eleven, yeah. Good shot. I think he was happy with that. Look at that, 77. Here we are for a quick lunch before we take off. Here we are taking off, and there's my buddy's uh, wheels up. Drake Sneed, he's a member of Wheel or he's the Vice President of Sales, I believe, wheels up. And we go from Pitkins County Airport to Butler County Airport, 9,000 feet is what I flight plan, odd men, odd men fly east. So there I am, Captain Smathers, Dr. Laniv. Pouring down rain. I mean, it was hard IFR most of the way. We'd break out in between layers occasionally and then go right back into the rain. And the airplane handled it like a champ. Smooth. There's nothing dangerous. The airplanes are made to fly through rain. And this one flies through rain particularly well. And it's nice having two engines. There's my beautiful wife. Looks like Cousin Hit with a blanket over her head because she doesn't like looking outside at the weather. And she claims that it was easier to watch her movie under a blanket. And you see approximately 9,000 feet because they keep changing the barometer on me and you know, up and down. By the time okay, I got a barometer reading in there for the final approach, I was at 9,000. The autopilot doesn't compensate, so it's matter of laziness, I guess. I could definitely take click the autopilot off, drop 100 feet. I should probably do that. That's four flight on my iPad. Here we are between layers, coming into Pittsburgh. We are, we are over the clouds, and then we had to shoot through all the clouds and all the rain to land at Pittsburgh uh, at Butler Airport. And the weather was 500 overcast variable between 500 and 800 feet overcast and Matt recorded this approach he didn't get us in clouds we broke out around 500 and some feet and uh, I saw the runway end lights which I clicked on as I was on the downwind on the approach and saw the lights first worked great about the country clubs over there on the right hand side that's in perfect condition right now coming in now I put the flaps down, I had approach flaps on, now full flaps, keeping the power in, a little low on the visual glide slope, but it's perfectly fine as far as I was concerned. And pull, start pulling the power, pull all the power out, and flare, keep the nose up, and we hit right there, boom, perfect. And let the nose settle, so you have control. And this is the four flight view with a sectional. There I am happy that we landed safely. Ah, there's Jackie, we got the car out of the garage. There's Matt loading the truck up. This is a flying club. If anybody would like to talk to me about joining the flying club, uh, we'd love to have more members. And it's flight aware. You can track me on flight aware. Here's my course on four flight with all the radar, the weather. And then, the next day, that was a Sunday we landed. The next day, I'm at Oakmont golfing. There's my, my brother's caddy, Damon, who I was BSing with. It's great. There's my buddy, Kevin Sharkey, from Richland, Pine Richland High School. Richland High School, he was on the golf team with me, a few years older. He was a senior, I was a freshman. 
It's Kevin's buddy Mike, Kevin Miller, our host, me in the right in the pink, and then Kevin on the right. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy this. If you like it, click like. And hi, Olivia. I love you. I did this for you today, Olivia, because yesterday you said you enjoyed watching my videos on my YouTube channel. So this one I made quickly for you. I love you. And have fun at Georgetown. You're going to do great. See you in a couple weeks. I hope you're coming back for a little vacation. Looking forward to it.